She's gonna be a dog! A dog! I'm silent. Cervantes! <laughs> My wife asked me what I wanted for my birthday on May 24th, and now it's a little bit later, but we're gonna go see my birthday gift. Guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> woo, woo. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> a dog! Wow! My dream dog is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, and we know these breeders who actually are here in Kansas City, which is awesome. So we're gonna go and take a look at Hero. Uh, it's, you know, he's only six weeks old right now, so we still have to wait. We're just excited because they're gonna let us go visit and uh, get to see, so I wanna bring you guys along. Okay, so here's the backstory of why we didn't get a dog for nine years of our marriage. I had my own cleaning business that I'd had for several years, um, and one of the last houses I cleaned as I was preparing to get married to Ruben, was this older couple and they loved animals. And they had seven Great Danes and five cats that all lived in the house. And it wasn't a very big house. When I would vacuum, the carpet literally changed colors. Oh, gross. It was just gross. And then they wanted me to mop with vinegar and water. <gasps> Imagine like a nasty dog smell with vinegar. <laughs> I mean, just, I just left every time feeling disgusting. Like, Ugh, this is... And so we get married. Ruby's like, can I get a dog? I'm like, no, you cannot get a dog. Never. I think I just needed a little bit of inner healing. I needed to overcome the trauma that I experienced and I uh, just need a little bit of time. And then we had a few kids. I needed to do the kid thing for a little while. And so now I'm like, Okay, I'm a little more settled, and thankfully, this dog that we're getting has very short hair, so it's not a big shedder, and so I told him he could get a dog this year, and just so you know, I'm fully on board. This is our dog, and I'm excited. Me too. I Daddy. really want to show Hero. Hero, look at you. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> this boy is made in Taylor, you know? I'm so glad that this was the one, you know? Yes. You guys, I was so... I have been waiting. I have. Yes, he um, has been. And you know, it, it just wasn't the right time right. in the past, but you know, right. God's timing is always so perfect. Yes. So. These are the awesome breeders. <laughs> so cute. They embrace everybody, but they will follow the one. Okay. That they and sometimes it's not up to you; it's up to them. You all sick. And the train ready. Look how, I mean, he just has, yeah, he yeah. cut his limbs. They will act like you've never fed them, <laughs> but don't overfeed okay. them. Stick with the specific scoops, okay. and I'll show you what it is. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. We'll see you later. See you in a few you weeks, couple good. weeks. Be a good boy, okay? okay. We'll see you later. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. No, it's a waiting game. He's um the mellow one of the bunch, which that's I'm very happy about that. In a little bit, Hero will be home with us. So now that we got home from the breeder, we are doing some research. I'm reading a book and Elise is reading a book. <laughs> We're going to be ready for this pup. We're going to go get a puppy. Today is the day that we're allowed to go pick Hero up. Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're trying to figure out all the final details related to what we need to do to be prepared for a puppy at home. We're going to bring our puppy home. Oh. Hero is coming home. Uh, Elise couldn't come with us because dear old Sayla was ready for her nap. And we... Uh, didn't want to disrupt that. I'm so excited for the pup. I'm about to scream. <coughs> A scream is like it. <coughs> that. That hurt my ears, Mr. That is a scream. Scream is your ears. We made it. Yay. Ooh, that's what hero 
it's gonna be in the future. <laughs> He's so handsome. Look at him, guys. Yeah. All right, let's go see your pups. Oh, he's already yeah. so much bigger. I know, he's really oh, grab. Oh, really? Oh. I love his pup. Look at him. Look at him. Pup, train him right now. Train him right now. He's actually so made my tail. So a couple of things. This Bye. is AKC people, right? Look at that. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh! Right now we're taking our puppy home! I can't believe it, guys! It's okay, it's okay, girl! You're gonna miss your family! You're going in this spot! It's okay! Oh, he lays on me! Well, he's laying on me. No, he's not. It's so a hero? Your name is Hero Adventure. I am so excited. Guys, I have a new dog. Welcome home. Would you like some food? <laughs> Is this your first meal in the Cervantes home? Hmm? Day one, I'm already tired because last night I didn't sleep very well. And I know it's going to be a hard night tonight, so... I'm probably just going to sleep down here on the couch so that my wife can sleep. It's so weird, I don't want to mess it up. You know, it's like having a new baby for the first time. You have these weird feelings of failing as a parent. <laughs> this feels different because, you know, with humans I'm used to and we kind of know what to do because we're on our third. But with a pet, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I feel like, am I doing this wrong? I'm trying to get him to trust me. Because right now he's just really distracted by all the things in my yard, so. I'm gonna take him to a big open field. Ready to do this together. We're gonna figure this out, I promise. So far it's working. He's following me. He only turned away once and immediately corrected when I started walking the opposite direction. Just wish I would have brought some treats to reward him for his behavior. Oh, he, he veered away. Now he's got to learn the hard way that he's not safe without me. Baby steps, guys. It's like raising a kid. You celebrate the small wins and uh, you figure it out, you know? This is uh, Hero's first full day with us. He's already acclimating well to the family. He was a little sad today and yesterday, but Look at him now. He's okay! I love him. He's biting. That's what puppies do. Hey, are you teething here? Hey, you gotta be a nice boy. And the famous chasing your own tail. It's really happening, friends. Second full day. It's funny, I read so many books on this and I feel so unprepared for dog training. <laughs> You know, it's one thing to read and about something and know about something. Another thing to put it into practice and to really understand how to communicate with a dog that doesn't speak your language. So uh, it's been trying and difficult in some ways, but very rewarding in others. We, we got a good dog. You're a good boy. You're a runner, aren't you? Today is gonna be his first vet visit. So we're excited to go take him and get to learn more about him and what we can do to help him and his growth. It's been very, very sweet and we're finding out lots of ways like how to get his car and he's fast and I like to run. And I let him go this fast. Now we can take our dog on our trip and it'll be very sweet. Exciting. And now we maybe, can take him to and and Hawaii. We can take our dog on W N R R Want you to rise up. Samson, that was for you. You just, you just want to eat it. How you can eat it, Bob? <laughs> You ready to go to the vet? People check out your stuff. <gasps> having the 
the, the look of shame, bro. Going to the vet is okay. It's what champions do. Gotta make sure you stay healthy. We can take care of you, you know, that kind of thing. So I give him a whole seat and that's just not enough for him, you know? He's gotta be on my lap even while I'm driving. It's kind of nice. We're bonded. So we're here and we're all set up on our face masks. I really want you guys to join us because he's about to get his first checkup and we're so excited. Yay! Deer Creek Animal Hospital. We're going right there. I can't wait. Last time he weighed in at 15 pounds at six weeks. It's two weeks later. He's at 22 pounds. He's going pretty fast. So how long has it been since you picked them up? Uh, I picked them up on Sunday. Okay. So I know it's still pretty soon, but how have things been going? Pretty good. You know, he was um, a little sad on the first couple of days, yeah. but he acclimated really fast. I mean, he gave me a seven hour stretch last night. Okay. So <laughs> I am really happy. <laughs> I was prepared for the sleepless nights for a long time. Oh yeah. And so he's doing good. He also yeah. ate a brown recluse. Yeah. Oh, good lord. <laughs> he did. He, he found a spider. All right, let's take a look at this dude. Oh, this dude is going to be a monster. I he's know. Huge. Yeah, he's... But, for his age, I mean, the breeder told me. Man, he's big as sugar. Yeah, and his paws, man. <laughs> so far, you know, his eyes, ears, and teeth still look great. His heart and lungs still sound awesome. Okay. And let me turn this man around. Hero got to get a few shot vaccines. Obviously, the vet, as he should say to every pet owner. This is such a beautiful dog. He said it was gonna be over 100 pounds once it fully matures. So I'm like, whoa, that's gonna be a big dog. That is the beginning of our journey with this little African lion dog. <laughs> in some way, I feel like I'm lavished on in ways that doesn't make sense, but I'm so grateful. The Lord has been so kind to us, providing for this pup in our lives. And now um, we are enjoying such a sweet, new identity as a family that we have a puppy now that is part of our little clan so this is a nice new beginning and we're looking forward to more adventures uh, as he grows up so anyway it's an exciting new development for us you know as part of my story you know inviting you guys into our little world uh, what it's like now to get life started with the Ridgeback this is gonna be a cool new journey for us so I'll, I'll keep him in the loop in our vlogs coming up Next week, I'll be sharing with you guys about what it was like and is like now uh, to lead worship in this COVID crisis. Uh, I'll share with you guys a little bit of what it was like during the pandemic and tell you the story behind it and then what it's like now that we're starting to congregate again uh, at the local church I lead worship at. So, follow!